Alright, so today what I want to do is I want to review uh, something called the Air Mouse, which I checked out a little bit uh, a little while ago. And like I wrote in my blog post, which is all written up already, um, I took a look at it and I wanted to check it out. And I've just been a little busy. And so I finally got a chance to take a look at it. And it looks really, really cool. And it's actually saving me some time and, and uh, making things a lot easier for me. So um, I'm just going to demonstrate real quick for you what it can do and a little bit about how it works. And, uh, and then the rest you can read about. Okay, so as I've mentioned before, I watch TV um, on my large screen TV, but it comes in through a computer that's hiding around the side of the TV. You can't see it here. Um, but the problem with that is that, it, as you can see here, it is a computer. And so when I need to do anything on the computer end of it, I need to use a mouse or a keyboard. Now what I have here is I have a Firefly remote. Firefly is just the, the remote software and a hardware remote that allows me to control everything on the computer from my couch. Um, now, if I want to, I can go into mouse mode, click this little button here, and on the screen it says mouse mode on. Probably couldn't see it. There's off, back on. And can't really see the cursor too well, but uh, you can see a little bit, it's moving around up there. That happens via left and right and up and down buttons, and then in the center I've got a clicker. So, it kind of works for mouse movements. However, it's uh, definitely not convenient and it's a little cumbersome. Let me turn the mouse back off. Um, and then down at the bottom over there, I have, you can kind of see in the bottom of the screen there, a uh, keyboard leaning up against it. That is not a wireless keyboard, so if I need to do anything, I have to get off my lazy butt and go over and type in the keyboard. And I'm right up on the TV, so it's kind of hard to see what I'm doing. So. Uh, what I've done is I've installed some mouse software, and I'm going to show it to you real quick on the uh, on the server software on the actual computer. And the server software just kind of runs all the time at the bottom. I can't show you in the install because it's already installed, and there's really only a couple steps. But uh, it sits in the tray down here, and you open it up, and there's just a few settings there. Um, nothing really that I've even messed with. Uh, so you know you set it up and it just kind of runs. And it's set by default to start when your computer starts, which I think is great. So anyway, that's what runs on the server. Then on my phone, on my iPhone, I have the following. Let me pull my iPhone up here. If I can unlock it. Um, on my iPhone here, I have this little air mouse icon. Tap that, and up comes my air mouse. Any second now. Alright, so there's my air mouse. Now, the way this works, I have a keyboard down here at the bottom. Let me zoom that out a little. Uh, and, you know, so if I need to do any input, I can do it right there from the keyboard. Then up at the top, I have my mouse platform. Now I've got a little scroll wheel here. I use it as a starting point. I can scroll all the way down past the keyboard, but that's how I can scroll through web pages and stuff. But I've also got this mouse cursor here, and you can kind of see in the background, I've got the mouse moving around. Then at the top, I have a settings button. And in settings, it basically just lets me turn the sound on or off, uh, frequency, and then I've got um, my computers listed here. I've got it set up on two. I only have it running on one right now. So I say done. Go back to my settings. And then you can see here it's pretty simple. I can just open up Firefox if I want. I can do uh, anything I want to do. I can type. Do all this from, from uh, just from my iPhone. Of course my network's having problems. So close that down. Then, on here, you have a toggle switch. In this toggle switch, just click that on the right, and it toggles it to a different kind of mouse, if you take a look here. And what this does is you put your thumb here in the center and hold it down, 
and then you actually move it around to make the mouse move. So that's how you move it. It works like a standard air mouse instead of a touch point like the other mode. Now I personally like the other mode, which is touch point, where I can just move it uh, just like my laptop's glide point.